Hi, I'm back with Definitely Not Pornographic Productions, second video in the series this year. This one is going to be first in many, first of many about Canvas and how to set up Canvas and make it work for you. I have met with such luminaries as Miss Nikki Mesa, Mr. Mark Barnes, school leadership team, Benjamin Brown, Charity Stern, our digital learning coaches. We've decided that getting a Canvas page set up for your class and your course with at least a minimum of a syllabus and some contact methods for the teacher is going to be the baseline, the, the down here-ness that we want every teacher, every wonderful teacher frontier to reach. Hopefully we will all get a lot higher in our Canvas use, but our baseline is everybody has a Canvas page. It's set up and ready for students and parents to look at. One of the difficulties, there's something on my screen here. One of the difficulties obviously is those of you that use big ideas and uh, other online curriculum, you don't have as much of a need to go through Canvas because all of your material is in other online uh, forms. But we still think it's important for you to have Canvas as a, uh, a starting off point for new students and parents looking for information about grades or contact or office hours or curriculum, whatever it may be. So this video is going to show you how to get started. I'm going to keep the videos really short and sweet. So this will not be A to Z in one video. This will just be A. Uh, actually setting up your, it'll be S, setting up your Canvas page, but it'll be number one. All right, you with me? Here we go. Setting up and starting your Canvas page. Here we go. I have purposefully not set this up ahead of time because I want to show you how I would really go through it if, um, if I'm starting from super scratch. So I'm going to open up Google Chrome. I still see some people using Firefox as their browser. There's no judgment value on Firefox but the district does not support Firefox. It's not updated on your computers, so please use Google Chrome. And I'm also on my laptop. Uh, the iPad is a great tool for viewing Canvas pages, but it is not a great tool for creating Canvas pages. So I'm here in my Bethel, and I've already signed in. I apologize for doing that ahead of time. Uh, if I click the star, I see Canvas there. If you're not aware of how to put things in your favorites, you go to the window pane, and you find that thing that you want, in this case Canvas, and you click the little star. Right now I already have it clicked, so it's there, uh, but you see these stars are hollow for some of these other things. I would just click that star if I wanted to add them to my favorites. So Canvas is already in my favorites, as there it is. I'll click on it, and it brings you to what's called your dashboard. You may have it set a bit differently, but it's gonna, it should bring you to the dashboard. Right here, these are all of my courses. Uh, over here, it has some to-do stuff. It says I should grade the Happy Dance video. I'm letting kids come into tutorial uh, tomorrow, Friday, to finish. So I'm not going to grade that yet, but it's just reminding me. And I do have some assessments uh, to go over, but the due dates aren't yet either. So I will have to take a look at those. These assessments are self-graded, so that'll be quick. The discussion, i got to see what they think about Bernoulli. And uh, there we go. Recent feedback. The students don't use Canvas for feedback, uh, but that's okay. We can use it as a great way to keep in touch with them. So... Let's say I wanted to uh, start a course from scratch. I'm not going to look at any of these courses because they're all stuff that I had. I'm going to go to courses. And let's just pretend that it is second trimester. If I look here, I can't find my robotics course for winter. I only see robotics 7F for fall 1819. So if I can't find a course, good chance it's down here under all courses. So I'm going to click all courses. And then I got to do that little scrolling thing. And, you know, give yourself time to do this because everything looks the same. They put in alphabetical order. So it goes fall, spring, winter, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. So that gets kind of annoying anyway. But let's go ahead and take a look at my, uh, my winter class. And I'll hit the star. And then when I go to back to dashboard, it's right there. And, well, not right there. It's right down here, Robotics Winter. So I'm going to open this one up. The first thing it asks you to do is to add something or create a new module. I'll show you later in the trimester how to copy an old course into a new course because that will be something you all want to do. Uh, but 
I'm going to start off with uh, without doing anything here. I'm actually going to go down all the way to the bottom to settings. Now I'm telling you right now, this is my personal preference. It's not the way you have to do it. I like to get rid of all these options on the side. They still are there for the teacher, but by making them invisible to students, I can control their flow through Canvas. That's the way I like to do it. If you like them to be able to find files and pictures and grades and all that sort of stuff, that's great. I prefer to limit that access so that they go through the flow that I want them to go through. So I'm going to go over here to navigation. I don't want them to see an announcement unless I, uh, unless I post an announcement. The assignments, they're only going to see when they see the assignment in the module I want. Same with the discussion. They don't need to see who else is in the class. They'll see the pages I want them to see. They'll see the files I want them to see. Now we're going to talk about syllabus later. I put my syllabus in a module, so I'm not going to have a separate area for the syllabi to go. Uh, that's just, again, my personal preference. You're not really disabling the functionality of any of these. You're disabling the way the students view. So I take the time to do this to all my classes. Um, it is, again, a personal choice. It is not the way that you have to do something. Uh, it is just the way that I choose to do it. Now, here's the big thing about Canvas. Are you ready? I made all these changes. The Save button does not float. You've got to scroll down and find the Save button. Otherwise, everything I just did will go away. It's really frustrating because I forget it often. Um, but that, that does happen. So uh, we're going to keep the course details right there. Uh, there's nothing I need to change there. And again, we'll talk about all of this on the right-hand side later. Right now, all we're going to do is work on this course. So I'm going to go to uh, Home. And they want you to add a module. So I will create a new module. And I like to call this one Starter Information. And since we're talking about syllabus as the baseline, you could... Uh, add syllabus there, or call it start information syllabus, or syllabus and important documents, something to indicate that this is not like a unit in the course, but this is the beginning place. So we'll go to add that module, and now I actually have a module up here, and you'll notice things are kind of grayed out. There are two things you have to do, and every teacher, including myself, forgets to do this beginning of the year. Publish the module, but I forgot to publish the course. You have to publish the course, and you have to publish all the content within a course. I'm also going to go to Choose Home Page. I like my home page to be the course modules. Boom. So I'm going to keep it like that. And I'll show you some of my other uh, pages later. But right now, I've got the starter information, and I have nothing in there. Really blank. So I'm going to go Plus, and I'm going to choose to add a file. I already have lots of files, but uh, I'm going to get a new file. So I click New File, Choose File. Now it opens up my computer, and I'm going to go look through my desktop, and there should be a folder here called, uh-oh, what did I call it? No, I just made this folder. I told you I was doing this real time, so I didn't check. Oh, there it is important stuff for the canvas page and in that folder look there's my syllabus double click on it it's there add the item and it's published because it's in a published module everything you add to published module is already published though I could unpublish it if I wasn't ready for kids to see it so if we take a look at that it will open up the file and they can download it and it will also show a view of it so my syllabus says my room number, uh, email, phone, YouTube channel, Twitter handle, Instagram handle, grading scheme, uh, and then the units that they'll go through in my class. Pretty basic syllabus. You know, we all have something very similar. Let me just show you one other way to do this. I'm going to go back to the beginning page. I could also add an external URL. URL, of course, stands for Uniform Resource Locator. That just means a web link. What is the URL? I don't know. Let's go here. Oh, look at that. I also have 
my syllabus in Google Drive. So what I can do now is, yeah, sorry, that won't work. Editing mode, let's bring this down. There we go, I'm gonna to go to share. Now this is really important. You have to make sure it says anyone can view. If it says anyone in the Bethel School District, the kids aren't in the Bethel School District. They're in a different domain and that's just computer stuff you don't need to know. Just keep it at anyone with the link can view, not edit. Edit means they could change it, and that's crazy. Then click copy link, done. Let's go back over here. I'm going to paste my link, and I'm gonna call this syllabus. And it can load in a new tab. That's a nice way to not have them screw up and forget where they are in Canvas. So I'll add that item. Apparently I lied when I said everything is published because that wasn't published, now it is. So these are two different ways to do the syllabus. This one is coming from um, a Word document on my computer, and this one down here is coming from a link to Google Drive. If I click it, it should say open it in a new window, and there it is. There's the syllabus, same information as the last one. All right, that is not a lot of information, but that is all I'm going to do today. I want you guys to you know have time to go through this. I will add a new one every two or three days. By the time the first trimester is over, you should be able to do some really fabulous things with your, your Canvas account. But for now, get it set up, get it published, have a syllabus in it, and we can work on more after that. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day.